personally, Tinubu and his group, especially those who he came with from Lagos, they are dangerous people. I'm not kidding. They are very dangerous people that we need to pay attention to. The way they are running that country is painful. Mm. Everything they do, things that are supposed to be democratic, they don't do it. Alanza Domez, don't tell me to take it easy, please. I mean, if anybody telling me to take it easy, then let's not, I keep saying, then let's not stop talking and just mm. let them run. Those guys from Lagos State, let me repeat it again. They are very dangerous people. The way they are going about running that country is dangerous. Is de and, and that includes the professor who comes to speak to them for them from time to time. He comes out and he does some dirty work and he goes back to the scene. You know, they will never they never seem to consider anything. It's all about whatever things they want to do. They have their game plan, they have something on their sleeves, they will work it out. I was listening to um a conversation he was having that the president was having with some northern elders that came to visit him, and he said something dangerous. He said, Why are people complaining about the uh, national anthem? People are saying that it was given to us by the colonialists. Is our name not given to us by the colonialists? And I looked at him and said, What kind of human being is this? What kind of Listen, India, India is changing colonial names. Um, Bangalore, um, New Delhi, they changed all those names and brought back all their original names. Lesotho did the same. Even South Africa has done the same thing in some instances. Jim Ghana. Jim Ghana too. You know, yeah. you're telling me this thing. So what kind of press is this man? Is he just... And then, you know, and I'm happy someone brought it up. I'm not sure who brought it up here. Personally, he changed that national anthem because of his hatred for Obasanjo. Simple. Because it was under Obasanjo's government that they sat down and ask Nigerian, uh, Nigerians to uh, come up with different things, and then they awarded it to the, whoever it was, and then they came up with that new one. It was, that's why he's doing all those things. But you see, mm. people don't learn from history. I'm going to end here. You can't run a government on you don't like your predecessor, you wipe away everything the person did. Every time people have run nations like that, go and see how they end. They don't end well. Come and yeah. do your play your part. The build, national, national the, the, the task of na nationhood, is I do my part, forefather does his part, he leaves it there, you come. I might differ from forefathers in a little way, but the fundamentals, you don't touch them. You just add one or two lame blocks and build the nation to the next level. But these guys just come, people who just come and say, I don't like forefather, everything forefather has done, throw it away. 